Well, hello, my friends. I've missed you guys so very much. I'm glad you're here to join me for my music class today. I hope you brought your singing voices with you because we are going to sing the hello song. Sing loud and sing it proud. Remember to use your listening ears to clap to the steady beat and stop when I stop. But I'm super tricky, so listen closely because I might try and trick you. Here we go. Hello. Hello, welcome to music today. Hello, hello, we're gonna sing and we'll play. Here we go now, clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap. Everybody clap your hands. Clap. <laughs> clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Great job, boys and girls. Oh, wait. I hear some beautiful music again. Do you guys hear it? But this sounds a little different. Hmm, I wonder where it's coming from. I bet it's that world again. Let's go and see if we can find it in our music room. Come on. Huh, maybe it's over here? Hmm, where could it be? Oh, well here's a world, but not quite the one we're looking for. Let's keep going, come on. it anywhere. Do you guys see it? There it is! It's up there! Oh look! It's right up there on the top shelf! Come on, let's go have a look. <laughs> there it is! Man, that music sounds really fun. Where do you think it comes from? I think I know. Yes, that's right, it's from Mexico. Mexico is one of my absolute favorite places to learn about, but I've never been there. It's always been a dream of mine. Well, hey, there it is. You know what I always say, boys and girls, if you can dream it, you can do it. Come on, let's go to Mexico. Mexico is a country full of pride, history, and culture. It is the home of the Aztec Pyramids, one of the oldest structures on the American continent. Mexico is the most populous Spanish-speaking country in the world. You see, the Spanish came to the New World and took over the Native American cultures that lived and thrived there. But, being a people who would not be crushed out, they adapted, held true to their heritage as natives, and flourished by mixing their culture with the Spanish. But Spanish isn't the only language spoken there. Some people there still speak the language of the Native Americans, the Aztec, Maya, and the Zapotec. This blend of culture brought forth a beautiful and unique new one all of its own. From its food, its music, its art, and its dance. Look, this is Baile Folclorico. You can see the Spanish influence in their feet work, but there is still the strength of the Native American or indigenous side of the culture in their powerful movement. And there is even African influence in their beautiful, brightly colored costumes. Such widely different cultures brought together to create one simply stunning display of art. Mexico is a land that loves to celebrate life 
and they do this so brilliantly through their music. Mexico has a wide variety of music depending on what part of Mexico you visit. They have instruments that don't look familiar at all, but then they have other instruments I'm sure you will recognize, like the guitarón mexicano. It's just a guitar, right? Um, not exactly. Here, let me show you what it looks like in someone's arms. Yes, that's right. The guitar is probably bigger than many of you. In many ways, it is very similar to the guitar. It is plucked like one to create its deep, resonating sound. But its body is shaped very differently, making it a unique instrument all on its own. Mexico has so many awe-inspiring facts that can bring to life its rich heritage. One cannot help but love and admire the exceptional, distinguished, and proud people of Mexico. <laughs> Isn't Mexico an amazing country? Es una cultura hermosa y fuerte. I felt a little inspired. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? It's singing time. I can't go dressed like this. That's better. Come on, let's go. I do. Oh great, you guys are here! I need your help. All of my soulfish hand signs have fallen off their spots and, and I need to put them back. Will you guys help me? Oh great, thank you. Now you remember what our soulfish hand signs are, right? Here we go now. Don't rain me fa so la ti do, do ti. have a home in a special place called a staff. A staff has five lines and four spaces. These notes all belong on this staff. But we can't just throw them up there and call them good. No, each one has to go straight to their cozy little home. And they all have their own room. They don't want to just go into anyone else's. It's their own special place after all. No, we have to follow a pattern. It goes like this. 
Line space. Line space. Line space. You say this pattern with me. Line space. Line space. Line space. Line space. Very good. Now, do you remember who goes first in our solfege? It's Doe. That's right, it's Doe. Now, Doe is going to find his special home. He is a lower sound than all the rest, and a low sound is down low in our chest. So we're gonna put Doe as far down as we can go on this staff. See, that's Doe's home. He hangs on a special ledger line right below the staff. Great job, you guys. We found the first one. Yay. Let's go to the next one. Now, who comes next? Ray. That's right, it's Ray. Now let me see here. Doe was on a line, so that means if we follow our pattern, line, space, line, space, line, Ray would be on a... Space. A space, that's right. Well done, boys and girls. Let's put Ray in the next space. Hmm. They look pretty crowded, don't they? Well, they can't be very comfortable at all. Let's give them some room so that everyone fits comfortably. Scoot on over, Ray. There, that's better. Now everyone fits. All right, boys and girls, we have Do Ray. Who comes next? Me. Me, wow, you guys have such great memories. That's right, me comes next. Let's uh, follow our pattern now. So let's see, here we have line, space. space. Next is a? Line. Line, wonderful. We found me's home. Hangs on the first line, hangs on the first line. This is me, very good. Awesome job. Well, let's find out who's next. Do, re, mi. Ba. Ba. Excellent job. That's right. And we have line, space. space. Line, space. We need a space next. Move on up there, Fa. <laughs> he is going to move up until he bunks his head, resting right in the space. All nice and cozy. <laughs> now who's next? Do, re, mi, fa. Sol. Sol. That's right, it's Sol. He goes up on a line. Up you go, Sol. <laughs> well, no. Well, that doesn't look right. Oh, he doesn't look happy at all. That must not be his line. He must not have followed the pattern right. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Line, space, line, space, line. Oh, I see, we put him up too high. That's not the next line. It's not Soul's home. Oh dear, no wonder he isn't very happy. All right, so sorry, Soul. Back down to your home you go. There, that's better. Okay, let's see who's next. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. La. La. That's right, la is next. Now let's be extra careful that we don't skip any of them this time. Line, space, line, space, line, space. There it is, the space. That must be la's home. Up you go, la, until you bonk your head. Gently, though. Great job, boys and girls. We almost have them all up in their homes. But who's next? Hmm. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. It's T. T. Yep, it's T. Line, space. Line, space. Line, space, and a? Line. Line, that's right. Come along, little T. You belong on this next line right here. Yep, very happy. As cozy as can be. 
Oh my, that leaves only one of our soul fetch friends left. Who do we need next, boys and girls? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti. Do! Do! That's right, we're back to our do. Our high do this time. Now he wants to live up high on the staff. Let's follow our pattern to get him home, boys and girls. Here we go. Line, space, line, space, line, space, line, space. Space, that's right. We did it. Everyone is as snug as a bug in a rug in their homes now. Thank you so much for your help, boys and girls. I feel a lot better now that everybody is where they belong. Let's see what we have next. Story time. Once there was a donkey who worked very hard for his master. But the master thought the donkey grew too old and weak to work. The donkey, feeling sad, decided that it was time to leave his master. The donkey began his journey towards the town of Bremen to become a town musician. While on his way, he found a tired hunting dog lying on the road. Why are you so tired? asked the donkey. Oh, said the dog, my master didn't want me anymore because I am too old and weak to go hunting. So I ran away. Guess what? said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen to become a town musician. Come with me, I'll play the guitar and you can play the drums. The dog thought that this was a wonderful plan. So the donkey and his new friend continued on to the town of Bremen. Soon they came upon a troubled cat sitting beside the road. Why are you so upset? said the donkey. <sighs> well, answered the cat, I'm getting old. I don't want to chase after mice and no one wants me anymore, so I left. Now I don't know where to go. Come with us to Bremen. You can become a town musician there, said the donkey. The cat agreed, and they continued to Bremen. Then the three new friends heard a rooster crowing with all his might from a nearby farm. Why are you so loud? said the donkey. Oh dear, said the rooster. I found out that the farmer's wife wants to cook me for tomorrow's dinner. I'm scared for my life now and will cry as loud and as long as I can. Arr, arr, arr. Hey now, said the donkey, we would be happy for you to come with us to Bremen. You have a wonderful voice and we can make great music together. Well, the rooster liked the idea and the four of them continued to Bremen full of hope. Soon the sun was beginning to set and the town of Bremen was still so far away. So the four came to a tall tree to rest for the night. The donkey and the dog lay at the bottom. The cat climbed onto a branch to rest. The rooster flew to the top of the tree to sleep. But before he closed his eyes to rest, the rooster saw a light shining in the distance. It must be a house, thought the rooster. He woke up the others to tell them there was a house not far away. The four friends walked towards it. As they got closer, they noticed that the bright light was coming from the home of thieves. The dog said, I'm hungry. The donkey quietly looked through the window. What do you see? asked the rooster. I see some thieves sitting at a table with lots of delicious foods and drinks. We haven't eaten all day, said the rooster. They were all hungry, so they came up with a plan to scare the thieves away. The dog jumped onto the donkey's back 
The cat climbed onto the dog, and the rooster flew up and sat on the cat's head. Next, they began to make music together. The donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat meowed, and the rooster crowed. Then they jumped through the window, breaking all the glass. The thieves heard the horrible sound and jumped to their feet. Frightened and thinking it was a ghost, they ran into the woods. After they ate all they wanted, they got ready to sleep. The donkey rested on the ground outside. The dog lay down by the door. The cat curled up in front of the fireplace and the rooster perched up high on the roof. Now the thieves wanted the house back, but were scared if the ghost they saw was still there. So they sent one man to check it out. To see in the darkness, he struck a match near the cat that made her jump up, scratch and spit. The thief ran to the door where the dog bit his leg. Outside the donkey gave him a good kick. And the rooster crowed as loud as he could. <coughs> then the thief ran away as fast as he could back to his captain. The next morning, they proudly continued on their way to finally make it to the town of Bremen, where they would begin a new life as the town musicians and live happily ever after. Well, boys and girls, that's the end of our music class today. I've had so much fun with you. Remember, after the goodbye song, I have a secret question I need you to answer. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. You know, reading all your answers brings me so much joy. We must end our classes with the goodbye song. So sing it with me. One more time and sing it loud and sing it proud. Hey there, secret agents. Wow, what a fantastic day of learning all about Mexico and learning about the staff and finding out where all the Solfege hand signs belong on it so we could get them back to their homes. But now it's time for the secret message. Last week I got so many awesome answers from you all. Here's Lydia with the answer to last week's secret question. Hi, this is Thomas. This is Lydia. My answer to the secret question, what's something that makes you happy when you have a bad day, is drawing. Thanks, Mrs. Thomas. Can't wait for next week's music class. Wow, Lydia, that is awesome. That would bring me a lot of joy, too. This week, boys and girls, I got to know the answer to this secret question. What's your favorite thing to do with your family? Answer in the comments below. I can't wait to hear the answers to this one. What? Huh? Oh no! Who turned out the lights? Oh, I can't see a thing. All right, boys and girls, this looks like something I better investigate. I'll see you guys next time on my music class. Hopefully I'll be able to see you if I can figure out where the light switch is. Hmm. Okay, I'll just carefully walk over this way and... Whoa! Oh, I'm okay.